Hello YouTube, this is Dawn from Dare to Be Creative. How you guys doing today? And today is week number two of the Embossy Punch Bunch Collab with Poet Spice. I hope I said that correctly. Um, anyway, we are doing things with our embossing folders and with our punches. And I'm sure quite a few of you have gotten some of those Martha Stewart punches as well. So participate with us and play along. But if you check out the box below in the Show Me More Detail box, you will see all the other people that are participating in this collab. And I hope you will check out their sites and their creations and like and subscribe to their channels. So of course today is Mother's Day. So I'm doing this video in two parts. It's the first part because I got to go out of town because it's actually Saturday. And this is um, an exploding box card that I made for my mom and my, my daughter, my grandson, probably busting the door in a minute. But anyway, um, so I did this. I cut the layout for the box on my Cricut, on my mini books, um, for my mini books cartridge or really in design space with the same thing. But anyway, so and I use a Martha Stewart punch. And I think that was called Arbor Lace, which I just got from the Tuesday morning. This is also one of the Martha Stewart punches and a stamp set that they had. And this one says, I'm warmest wishes on your special day. And then you, you stamp it and then you punch it out. This is also her dimensional layered butterfly punch. And that's this one, Recollection Bling. This paper is a pack I had. It was a DCWV pack. Oh, I forgot the name of it. I'm sorry. Um, and then, so of course, you know, you've seen this exploding boxes. It explodes out like that. Some more of those layered punches right here. And this is the other sentiment from her, that collection of the stamps. It's four stamps and uh, that one, kind of like a top note punch. And this one says with love and it has some butterflies on it. So I just punched out some more butterflies and put some bling in the middle as my centerpiece here. Everything has been inked with um, Antique Linen by Tim Holtz. And so in the first layer, I used quite a few punches. Um, this is the word love. That's the Tim, not Tim, Teresa Collins, excuse me, Teresa Collins punch by Fiskers. It says love. And you see that right there in both of those. This one is one of her Teresa Collins diamond punch as well. And I put a little bit of bling right there. And this is just a tag that comes out, which for me to write a sentiment on to my mom. So it's one on that side and one on that side. So those, again, those punches are from Teresa Collins. That strip is just a strip I made. Then on the next layer, that's a butterfly. That's a Martha Stewart punch I just got from the Tuesday morning haul. Right. And this one right here is a tag um, from the tag punch. And this is another one from a smaller tag punch. And then this one right here, um, again, is the butterfly. And then the tag and the tag punch. So on the second layer, some more, just put some more tags in here for us, my grandkids and stuff. I mean, my, her grandkids, not mine, can write on it. And some more bling here. And that's removable, her husband. Um, this one says XO. That's the Teresa Collins Punch by Fiskers. And then, oops, sorry, out of frame. Another tag. Another XO. Then if you go to the last one, this is just, um, again, a tight punch. And that Martha Stewart layering punch. Again, the same thing there. I made it very simple. And on the back, this is a banner punch with um, a Recollections butter layering butterfly right there. And some bling and another that tag punch. Again, that tag punch is actually, the large tag punch is actually from Creative Memories. The smaller one is the McGill, McGill one. And then I put a diamond there, the Teresa Collins diamond one there and the bling there. And again, her butterfly and the tag punch. And that. And that butterfly, it's hard to kind of show these in videos, to be honest, unless you have your camera directly overhead. And I don't. So, hence, anyway, that is my exploding box. And then I will come back for part two of the same video with what I did with embossing. Because these, these papers were, I started to emboss these, but I didn't because it already was kind of very busy papers. So. Um, I'll be right back with the rest of my video with the rest of the stuff that I made using my punches and my bossing photos. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back with the second part of my video, which is the embossing folder. And this is just a real simple, quick card. And this is the Tulip by Doris embossing folder. And this is a Tim Holtz die. I think it was. Oh, no, it might be Momento. This says hello. And they're both raised up. And this is on a uh, five by six and a half card and I love the blank inside because you can do so much with hello this could be you know sympathy it could be 
friendship. It could be encouragement. So I left the, back, the inside blank. But anyway, so thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And I hope you check out the ladies' links below to see what they've done with their punches and their embossing folders. And hopefully you'll be inspired to create. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.